very much, Mr. Sean Baugh, moderator of today's lunch, Mr. Joseph Cox, Assistant Secretary General, Trade and Economic Integration, CARICOM Secretariat, Director General of the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation and Agriculture, ICA, Assistant Director General, Latin America and the Caribbean of FAO, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Caribbean Agriculture Research and Development Institute, President of the Agriculture Alliance of the Caribbean, Sister Member State, Farmers, Agri-Manufacturers, Students, and other stakeholders joining us online. Today is a very important day, and as I heard addresses, I am very heartening to know that we have once again restarted this very, very important activity. And today I have the distinct honor and pleasure of delivering the keynote address at today's launch of Caribbean Week of Agriculture 2021. I see this as a distinct honor for two reasons. First, the Caribbean Week of Agriculture will for the very first time be hosted as a virtual event. While the COVID-19 pandemic has rocked the globe and has served to postpone, cancel, or scale back important regional events, this event, while certainly of a different format to previous years, promises to be no less impactful and exciting. In fact, the virtual format has the potential of reaching a much wider audience, given that the need for costly travel would be virtually removed. And importantly, the format this, this format allows us for the exploration and embrace of emerging technologies in the area of information and communication technologies, a field that is increasingly important for a modernizing and technology-driven regional agriculture sector. A very cursory review of the program of plan activities during this important CWA suggests the clear intent of showcasing the opportunities for practical technology-oriented solution. The virtual trade show and exhibition and the virtual marketplace stands out as beacon in this regard. And secondly, CWA 2021 marks the return of this important regional event for its longest absent on the regional calendar since its inception in 1999. Notwithstanding, the obvious challenge posed by the pandemic. The fact that the CWA 2021 is being launched today is indicative of the commitment, determination, innovativeness, and the acknowledgement of the importance and the crucial role and place that agriculture occupies in this region, be it in the food and nutrition security or employment and income generation. The message is clear, not even a pandemic will stop us from doing what is necessary for the advancement of regional agriculture. Today, Guyana currently holds the lead responsibility for agriculture, agriculture diversification and food security in CARICOM. And our president, President Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali in February this year, presented to CARICOM heads of government, the paper entitled, advancing the CARICOM agri-food system agenda, prioritizing regional food and nutrition security, unquote, for transforming the agriculture sector in the CARICOM. Based on this presentation and based on the acceptance by CARICOM heads of government, a ministerial task force was eventually formed. As chair of the special ministerial task force on food production and food security, I assure you, the team of CWA 2021, transforming our food system, is aligned with the trust of the Special Ministerial Task Force, whose main objective is to provide guidance on the transformation of the agri-food system that is resilient, provides attractive and sustainable wealth creation opportunities for potential investors, and guarantees 
food and nutrition security for the region. We recognize that this desirous transformation of the region, regional agri-food system towards full commercialization requires the active participation of the regional private sector. In this regard, the Special Ministerial Task Force collaborate closely with the CARICOM private sector organization, an associate institution of the Caribbean community invited by the conference heads government to engage in a formal and structured manner with the organs of the Caribbean community in an effort to secure the full implementation of the CARICOM single market and economy. We consider this collaboration to be very crucial and the Ministerial Task Force has committed to support the Caribbean private sector organization in its efforts to develop and target regional investments and inter-regional trade in the identified priorities, commodities of poultry and niche vegetables in the immediate term and to give special attention to other strategic commodities in the near to medium term. Same being corn, soya, rice, meat, which include beef, sheep and goat, and coconuts. Guyana believe in leading by example. So in 2021, the government of Guyana has allocated an initial $500 million to commence infrastructural work in the area earmark for the cultivation of 125 acres of corn and 125 acres of soya beans being by a consortium of local private sector. Over the last month, the Special Ministerial Task Force has been very proactive in initiating dialogues with the regional and strategic entities and the subject particularly of the de-risking of the regional agriculture sector. In this regard, the Ministerial Task Force has received presentation on two areas. Firstly, a possible agricultural insurance product for the region by a regional company pioneering such a product in a member state and outlining the elements for the establishment of a regional agricultural insurance product. This is very, very critical for us in the Caribbean for us to implement and ensure that farmers are targeted so that the, the losses and the vulnerability of this region we can address. Secondly, a proposed sustainable Caribbean finance facility for the establishment of a $10 billion sustainable financing facility for the Caribbean to support agricultural investment by 2035. I am very pleased to report as chair of this ministerial task force that a subcommittee is currently being established specifically to address opportunities for establishing a similar agricultural insurance product on a regional scale and for advancing the proposal for the Sustainable Caribbean Finance Facility. Developments on these two areas will be highlighted in greater details in a report from the Ministerial Task Force during the COTEC Ministerial meeting. Finally, it would be remiss of me if I did not acknowledge the stalwart effort led by the CARICOM Secretariat in planning this major event, but supported equally energetically by the planning committee and its various subcommittees comprising of regional stakeholders. Many of these agencies are participating in this lunch today, and therefore I take this opportunity of commending you for your continued support and the invaluable resources you have dedicated to ensure the success of CWA 2021. I wish you continued success in your planning efforts leading, to the, leading up to the actual week of event and now declare CWA 2021 officially launched. Thank you very much, Mr. Moderator.